Ashley here. And Greg. Do the double screen. I can't do the double screen. Oh, fun. <laughs> and Remington. And we got the third go-kart in the back. Yeah. Greg is going to be driving it tonight. First time out. You excited? Nervous? Excited. Excited? I'm just going to try not to be a complete fool. Well. <laughs> Only a little fool. Just <laughs> keep it on. Yeah. You know. Keep it on the track. Yeah, keep it on the track. In front of us is everybody else trailing the other two. Uh, Wyden, Sarah, and Leona, and Stormy are in another vehicle somewhere. It's uh, the, whole the whole crew tonight. So Minus Mama and the twins. Yes, minus my mom and the twins. So, Remy, let's go racing. Let's go racing. Say good luck. Can we say boogity, boogity, boogity? Let's go racing. And we're passing on the inside. Slowly but surely. Oh, oh, he figured it out. He figured out I'm here. Crap. <laughs> oh, it is dad. Oh, he's, he's even open for me. I'm going for it. Go, go. <laughs> oh, and here he comes back on the inside. Oh, I got too high around the corner. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, he and got it. he's got it. <laughs> Welcome everybody. It's race day. We're watching uh, Heidi and Corey getting the tent ready, putting our lights on. There's the old man over here. Greg's on the left side, Peanut right over here. It is a lot cooler than it has been the past uh, few days. Week, two weeks actually. Um, about 82 degrees right now. Oh, it feels nice. Sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. Momo, are you ready to race? Yeah, you're finally back at the track. Heck yeah. What'd you draw? 92. 92. See, we're always either start in the back, start in the front. Never in the middle. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So, first heat most likely be last row. Last row or second front heat. row. Or, or you know. most likely last row, but yeah. Good deal. Heck yeah. So, Fun. We had the fun car ride on the way here. We were jamming to some music. Everyone already watched that. Yeah. Word. We, we got some video of passing each other on the interstate. Oh, too. nice. Yeah. Do a little dragon on the way to the track. <laughs> <laughs> Pop. Yo. Ready to race? I am. I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you draw? 31. 31? So you and Corey are on the opposite side of the spectrum on this whole thing. Maybe we'll be in different heats. That'll be nice. I like to be in the heat with my son-in-law in the 26 so I can laugh at him. Ah, <laughs> word, word. You good know, deal, good deal. deal. At least Taylor's got somebody to race with tonight. <laughs> he's he's always, getting better. Yeah, he's, low, he's, he's getting quicker. We're hitting his chip now, so he's getting better through the well, corners. We're, thinking, we're also thinking, too, that we, or, or, Greg should at least get around the 13th right too. Oh, get around Ryan? Well, you guys are already hitting up Ryan, too. <laughs> that poor Ryan. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to help out get stuff ready. Uh, we got a few people here to buy some stuff, so I'll be back a little bit. All right. I'm back, everyone. So, just got talking to Ryan. He's been working on his cart the past few weeks, trying to get that thing a little more comfortable for him. Ryan, Ryan, good shit. Um, Ryan has some challenges that some of us don't have to deal with, though. Um, he's tall. He's a tall guy. 
And then on top of that, uh, just his stature, the size of him. So he's been working on getting his chassis more comfortable for him, um, trying to get the numbers where they would uh, be helpful for him for turning and stuff like that. So I'm hoping all the work he's put in, because he's put in a lot of work, I hope it comes in handy for him this, tonight. So I'm wishing him the best of luck. So as you can see, I just walked down the big track at Mississippi Thunder. Um, they raced last night and I'm heading to the infield of our track, as you can see. Um, on my way to put the beacon out. Uh, looks like uh, Jeff or one of his crew members is out watering the track, getting it ready. It's hot, sunny. You're fighting the sun, man. So if I was a betting man, we're gonna have a dry track, practice it'll be dry. And then if I had to guess, Jeff will come out water before our, our races. We'll have a little bit tackier track by our first heat. And then I think it'll dry up after that. But a lot of it all depends on what curveball he throws for us tonight. Um, how much water is he gonna put down? So otherwise it might be, uh, there's the man right there. Otherwise it might be a, a driver's track, a tough track. They're hard to race. You can't, I've talked about this numerous times, you can't go in there balls deep. You have to lift slower is faster. Um, it's hard, it's a patience track. Um, also you gotta deal with mechanical grip. Because the track doesn't provide the grip, you've got to make the grip. So, as you can see, I'm in the infield of the big and small track. There's Colin over there, one of the workers here. He races a Hornet here on Friday nights. Um, so yeah, so after this, I'm gonna head back to our trailer. I gotta throw a couple people on the scales. Um, of course, then just fire up our engines, uh, do some final bolt nut checks and uh, get ready for racing. So as you see, there's the flag tower. I got our beacon, our beacon goes underneath the flag tower. And uh, this is how we watch for our lap times. Um, besides having my race pass, we got this. Um, but really, my race pass, you really don't need this, but it's still nice, especially on the days you can't get internet access. So, but I think I got it set up. If it's not, Dad, you're coming out here to fix it. <laughs> so after, after this, I'm gonna head back up. So I'm getting winded, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, well, I'm back to the trailer. The boys got everything out. Next thing we need to do is get the scales out. So I'll help them get the scales knocked out so we can get a few drivers on there. I'm um, waiting for Mr. Ashley. Oh, she does. she's over there in the distance, Ashley, Ashley Seidel. Um, she's been waiting for a new set of tires that didn't show up, so we're gonna borrow her tires for tonight. So I gotta get her tires, get her on the scales, check her camber. Uh, I know one of the other fellow racers wanna borrow her scales. So, told people I'm gonna start charging them though. <laughs> so, we're at the track for no practice yet. Senior over there talking to people. Yeah, Junior over there talking to a couple people. And Corey went over that way. Talking to people. Never fails. Wyatt and Ed is actually working and not talking. We've been pretty busy chit chatting for the last hour and a half. Now everybody's at a pit meeting and he is finally working. About time, crew chief. All right, everyone, it's been busy. I'm hot, sweating. I've helped, I think four teams so far it's been busy we're getting ready for practice as you can see boys are heading to the grid um forgot to turn that beacon on i you watched me take out earlier so i gotta get back in the infield and turn that beacon on quick so uh yeah and then i gotta go help a few other drivers so i'm gonna try to get a little bit of practice if i can and uh we'll go from there so i'll be back a little bit
All right, beautiful national anthem. Congrats to all the drivers who went out there with the flag. We appreciate it. All right, so had practice. I don't think I really got footage, so sorry about that. Let's uh, let's talk with the boys quick. So practice. They're checking air filter. What's going on, Mama? Oh, snap! Oh. Good catch. We'll pull that off. Put another air filter on. We have spares. We keep we keep spares, people. We drive hour plus to a racetrack. We got spares. So Momo, you look like you're concentrating. I am. Can I can I catch you for a minute here? Talk talk to the group. How was the cart? Great. Word. Yeah. You liked I love, it? I love dry tracks. <laughs> he does. He's like me. Yeah. Love him, love him. <laughs> it's a driving track. So our our so far the chassis change we did. You liking it? I do. All right. So we're gonna leave it. See what it does for the first race. Yep. Hell yeah. We got uh, backup plans in case I don't want We do, them. we do. All right, on to Pops now. I'll let you get back to work. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, how we doing? Doing just dandy. How was it out there besides dry? Dry and loose. Um, dry and loose. Still loose in mind. Are we loose where we were last time? Last time you were loose yes, going but in. It seems like it's not loose going in so much, or in the center, it's more later exit. Exit corner, okay. Well, we got changes now. So, we're not doing what we did before, and that was the goal. Right, she's not snapping loose as I'm entering the car. Correct, so we fixed that. I will now work on getting the, the, tight, the looseness coming out of the corner. So, we're gonna get there, old man, all right? So, all right, that's what I wanted to hear. Yep. Heidi, you staying hydrated? Yes, all right, my wife said I gotta catch up. She's had two water bottles, I've only had one. So I gotta, I gotta drink more water, she told me. This is my uh, second one. Oh my goodness, I'm way behind. I gotta really, as much as I drink, I, jeez, oh I gotta really catch up. Thank you. Did you already lose it? No, I just didn't drink it. I'm getting yelled at everybody. I might be the mastermind, but I still get yelled at. But I'm the boss. Oh. Don't make me spill my water now. It's running. It's on it's on double camera view right now. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, figure out what we're gonna do with the old man's cart. We're gonna get ready for heat one. So I'll be back in a little bit. I uh, hope you're enjoying so far. Uh, again. Congratulations to the drivers who went out there for the national flag. Also, quickly, while I'm thinking of it, it was Jeff Soybert's son's birthday. I believe it was last Thursday. Logan, hey, happy birthday, bud. Um, I know you're one of our fans. I appreciate watching. Come over and chat, chat, chat with us. Uh, we miss talking to you. We haven't really talked much this year. Maybe we get you a haircut again this year, too. So happy birthday. All right. Okay. Greg's actually running two classes tonight. He's volunteering to run another class just to add a little numbers to it. It's our Top Gun class. Cart looked not too bad. Um, had to get the motor run a little better. We didn't want to idle. So Corey and my dad knocked that out. I made weight change, chassis change, wheel change. Um, spaced out the, or moved the left rear, had cross, and I moved weight to get him some more side weight. So. Corey didn't want to touch his, so we left his. All right, Greg's the first one of the group out. He's getting ready to head out. Uh, he's starting in the back. We prefer to have him start back there. Corey and Dad will be lining up for heat two, so wish these boys luck. We'll see what we can do.
Okay, so as you saw, he won. Crazy race. Um, Dad got second. Corey got sixth. Corey was rolling. Um, unfortunately, Mastermind made a decision to go two gear up to get the pull off the corner. Unfortunately, we were losing a little bit going in because of it, and a few drivers are driving deeper into the corner. Even with that track condition, they were driving deep. It was enough so someone could get underneath Corey and um, little, little. you're trying to go for literally a, a three quarters of a groove and Corey spun, as you saw. So it's racing, I take the blame for it. They now have watered the track. That track, they took 20 minutes and watered that track. That track is a totally different track and it's nothing like we had before. So we went back to our starting gear and we're ready to head up for heat number two, as you can see. Let's see, Corey starts outside pole. Yeah, buddy. Outside pole. Dad, do you know where you start? Inside fourth throw. Inside fourth throw, it sounds like. So, heat two, we're going to see what happens. We didn't touch the chassis. Dad says we're getting better on his. We're going to see what this new track condition does with the chassis. Uh, only thing we did differently is we changed the gear. So...
All right, everyone. So, interesting for a second heat now. Um, of course, you saw Corey won. Uh, asked him what was going on at the on the on the starts, his original starts, and Paige, who was the pole sitter, was running such a slow start. Corey said that the, his clutch couldn't keep up. Of course, we have an open clutch rule here. And she's running a bully. And by the time Corey's clutch grabbed and went and it locks into torque, she was already a, 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 a car and a half already pulled. So as you saw, Corey picked up his pace on his restarts and he, he pulled them every time. He'd pull them one, two, three carts going down the straightaway. So I'm gonna have to look into that, ladies and gentlemen. I love these clutches and maybe I can make that better. So I'm gonna have to do some research, do some talking. Dad got, what did you get? Fifth. He got fifth. Um, he's happy with the cart. The cart is now working how it should. He's very comfortable. Am I wrong? You're very comfortable with the cart. You're yeah. confident with the cart. Yeah. Our changes are, res are, are responding. His issue at hand is, I talked about this on the last race vlog. It's the different driving styles that are in this class. Um, we have a very diverse group of guys in our sportsman class. And what I mean by that is we literally have beginners and we have drivers that have been doing this for 20 years. Um, your typical sportsman class is usually your, I would say more your starter class. But for some reason, this is the popular class. This is what everyone runs. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But it, it creates different driving styles. And what I mean by that is, again, drivers who drive in hard, drive in deep, and hope the cart sticks. And then you got drivers like my dad and my bro who are methodical keep the carts uh, smooth going in the corner, get the pull center off. And there's nothing wrong with the two different driving styles, but what is wrong is slamming into people's bumpers. And we don't have to do that. And that's the frustrating factor. And that's unfortunately what my dad's dealing with is the guy's just overdriving and slamming your bumper going in the corner. And we don't need to do that, people. Now, someone told me a week ago, three weeks ago, that, well, that's karting. That's not karting. That is just not being respectful of your fellow racer. And we're better than that. These things cost way too much money to be stupid. And all for what? Because, yes, we do race for money, but it, it, we're not racing for freaking $10,000. Rant is done. So we're making a gear change on Dad's cart. He definitely was not pulling enough gear. So we're making a gear change. Corey, I know we want to make a chassis change. He's a little bit looser than he wants off the corner. So we're going to make a chassis change, but it looks like his gear is pretty good. I'm going to debrief with him here, and we'll go from there. 